Happy Black History Month. Are you suffering from Black History Month fever? Probably not, right? I bet you've got your social media campaign. Lock off! All the engagement, all the followers, all the likes, talking about black people, helping black people. What could possibly go wrong? Watch on and have a look. What's happening, my man? What no? What kind of darling? Where Joe Black History Month at? What's happening, Joe? Didn't we just do Black Lives Matter? Another month? What? Hey, fellas, sisters, come on. Let's not be too black because we 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 might frighten them off. I don't see color. I mean, what is a black person anyway? And don't all lives matter? I'm afraid of black people. Don't get me wrong, great athletes, great musicians, but a little bit intense. I don't know why you waste your time with these people. You can't work with them. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I love black people. I had a black girlfriend once, calling me up chocolate. This black guy got mad at us once. Um, I accused him of leaving a pube in the sink. Turns out it wasn't a pube. It was his hair. Show me the data. Show me the data. Or should I say data? Show me the data that proves to me that these people are qualified enough and actually willing to do these jobs that they say that they want. It's like my man said, I don't see him trying hard. I don't see him trying for these jobs. So I don't know what all the fuss is about. Like I see him playing sport, being musicians, but they don't seem to want to work in the corporate world. That's the problem. <laughs> this rarely is political correctness gone mad. I mean, every time I switch on the television, one of these people is presenting the news. And um, do you know, look here, whiteboard markers. I heard, I heard from a very reliable source, I might say, that if you use a whiteboard, these people get offended. <laughs> <laughs>